Blogging may seem a little informal, especially for academics, but many extension professionals are using blogs as a way to grow a following. Here at Ohio State University Extension, our Live Smart Ohio and community development teams are two examples of successful extension blogs. All faculty and staff have access to the WordPress blogging platform u.osu.edu in the Ohio State University community. To get started, visit u.osu.edu and click sign up. Once you have your blog up and running, here are some things to keep in mind when creating a new post. Number one, choose appropriate topics. You may choose a topic to write about based on what your audience needs or what's happening in your local community this week. Whatever you do, try to avoid writing a post simply for the sake of writing a post. You want to add value to your subscribers. Number two, craft a great title. You may think that the title of your blog post don't matter, but they do. When sharing your post on social media, for example, your audience may only see the title, so you need to write something that compels people to want to click and read. A great title may communicate a benefit, create debate, ask a curious question, or use humor. Be sure to keep it short and simple and avoid jargon. Number three, hook your readers. Once you've captured your reader's attention with a great title, you need to retain their attention with a great opening. Capture their attention by saying something unexpected, telling a story, or using staggering statistics. Number four, make a point. Ask yourself, why should people care about what I'm writing? What are you trying to communicate? How will your readers be different after reading your post? Your blog post should always have a point. Number five, include a call to action. Now that your readers have read your post, what should they do? Do you want them to like your Facebook page or subscribe to your newsletter? Let them know. You can also include a call to action to change a behavior like eating healthier. Number six, recycle and reuse. You've spent time researching and writing, so why not recycle your evergreen content? Include your post in your email newsletter or post to social media to get more mileage from your content. And number seven, use high quality graphics. There are plenty of resources on the web where you can find free stock photos and videos. Look for images licensed as Creative Commons Zero or CC Zero. These images are free to use for commercial and non-commercial purposes and do not require attribution. My favorite Creative Commons Zero resources are Pixabay and Stocksnap.io. Now that you're equipped with some blogging basics, why not give it a try? Still need help? Visit the Office of Distance Education and E-Learning website for additional resources and help guides. Still have questions? Let me know.